Hey guys, so we're back at the Toyota Forklift Project. The last few days have consisted of basically trying to get a little voltage into the batteries. So to keep a long story short, uh, this is a 36 volt forklift and these batteries had basically zero volts. They've sat dead for years, you know, maybe months if we're lucky, but years definitely. And so a lot of your electronic battery chargers do not just jam voltage in. Um, most of your modern battery chargers have a chip and so they basically if they don't detect voltage they will not begin charging and so that's been our problem for a couple of days now. Um, this is a 36 volt system consisting of a, a bunch of 6 volt batteries and so what we started with was getting the 6 volt batteries individually woken up. So I started with a 12 volt old school style car charger and uh, charged two batteries at series. So the negative of one, the positive of the other, that's 12 volts. We had about two or three volts there, but it was enough for the charger to start going. So we did that for like two days. <clears throat> we got the total voltage of the forklift up to, oh, seven volts or so at the 36 volt terminal, which is still just terrible. Now, mind you, this has like 1,360 amp hours of batteries in it, uh, this Toyota forklift does. So, you know, a massive set of lead acid batteries. Um, so at which point, once we got the voltage up to seven or eight, I put my NOCO uh, battery charger on, which NOCO is kind of a popular brand of battery charger, um, on it, and then it, it started going. So it wouldn't charge initially, but we got the NOCO to pick up at 12 volts. So at that point, we had like three 12 volt chargers on this thing. So what we did next was I let that go for about a day. I came back and uh, then I bumped the NOCO charger, which is a 12, 24 volt charger. I bumped it up to the 24 volt side and left the other 12 volt chargers on there. <clears throat> um, our other option in all of this would have been to bring a car battery with the alternator system over here because that's just going to jam voltage in. Uh, but I wasn't in a hurry and I really didn't care. So once we got the NOCO to charge 24 volts, we I let that sit for another night uh, at the 24 volts. So I came in here yesterday and then I've got this little cheapy Amazon, and I'll show it to you guys, uh, 36 slash 48 volt charger. Uh, once the NOCO charged overnight at the 24 volt setting, the cheapy 36 volt charger uh, then picked up charging. So then we were in business. So now I've got the 36 volt cheapy charger going at the correct charging terminals, the 36 volt bus bars on each side, negative and positive. So currently we're put, putting in 14 amps at 36 volts. We're looking for this thing to get up to about 40. But the most exciting thing we found out today was the forklift works. So it looks like we've lucked out again. So I turned the ignition on, and this is after four days of uh, off and on charging. I turned the ignition on today, and the forks work, the forklift goes forward, reverse, everything sounds great. I look at under the floorboards, no one's monkeyed around with the wiring, so I think we're in business with this thing. And the more I look at it, it is just in really good shape. So again, a little bit of background in all this, if you haven't watched our other videos, is, is look for these electric forklifts on Marketplace, and most of the time, they get parked with bad batteries, and so you get them inoperable, and since they're electric bad batteries, typically they don't have any mechanical issues. So you kind of luck out on the whole situation. So this still has the group of lead acid batteries. I'll show that to you, but we plan on putting lithium in it. But actually, if I charge this for a few days and these lead acid have some uh, life left, we're going to run with the lead acid for a little bit before I go with the lithium. So we'll flip around here and I'll go over the batteries here. We'll look at the charger and then I'll discuss like the, the lithium batteries that we're going to get and so on. So here's our group of lead acid batteries. We've got uh, 18 six volt 
batteries to make 36. This is our negative bus bar. The other one over there is our positive. That's your 36 volt. And now you can see we've got our 36 volt cheapy Amazon charger on it now. I haven't been uh, unsatisfied with this charger. It's worked fine other than the connector there on the end. Uh, it got hit a couple times. The wires were coming out there soldered. So right now it's kind of rigged. Um, but here's a spec on the, uh, the factory batteries. 1360 amp hours, nominal voltage 36, which lead acid, we knew that, uh, 68 amps. So what, so this says 1360 amp hours, but they're lead acid. So of that 1360 amp hours, only about, oh, 30% usable. So you can only take a lead acid ba battery down to about 70% capacity. And here's what's so good about lithium. If I had 1360 amp hours of lithium here, all 1360 amp hours would be usable. So you only need to replace 1360 amp hours of lead acid with 20, 30, 40, 50% of lithium, and you're going to get way more capacity. Um, let me show you the dash here. So there's the ignition on. The seat is up. And I'm charging. I don't want to put that down right now. Um, the, so the forks and accelerator will not activate with the seat up. It has a safety switch. So we are currently charging. Here's the Anderson connector going from the batteries to the chassis side of the forklift. So like I said, we're going to run these lead acid if they have some life left. We've been putting, I've put two gallons of uh, distilled water in here so far. Never put regular tap water in here. So either set water out for a month or go over to your local grocery store and grab some distilled water. Uh, so we've been putting, this is one of the other drawbacks of lead acid is maintaining them. Um, so we put a couple gallons in here so far. I'm sure it's going to take way more. Let's go around to the other side here. So you can see I was saying this is in pretty good shape. This is what you want to see when you go pick one of these up, that no one's been in here goofing around with the connections or anything. Uh, dash is in really good shape. We've just got a little bit of dry rot on some of the hoses, which can be expected. And this has really nice forks on it. They're five foot uh, class two forks, so really nice uh, forks. And this forklift has side shift and has a 14 foot triple stage mass. So this is like the Cadillac of electric forklifts for this kind of uh, tier. Um, so the 1360 amp hour rating, this charger is putting in, it's we're at 36.1 volts, 14.3 amps per an hour. So it'll take this charger 90 hours to charge these batteries up from zero. So just, uh, the chargers that come with these are absolutely colossal. So that's where we're at on this. Everything works. Um, I think tomorrow or the next day we'll have enough charge in here to drive this thing around and I'll shoot another video. But so far, so good. I'm really impressed. This is a Toyota 7FB CU35. That's 7 Fox Bravo Charlie Uniform 35. So we appreciate the likes and follows. Uh, comment if you have any questions. I'd be happy to answer them. We've done a couple of these forklifts now and they're working out great.